Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am very excited to share with you the limited edition second anniversary authentic books box. So this is one that I purchased because I absolutely love what Natisha is doing over there at Authentic Books. She is kind enough to send me the monthly boxes for review. So whenever I see a limited edition box and I have some room in my budget, I like to support them by going ahead and purchasing it. It's always really hard because she had a fall box box as well as the second anniversary box and there was one item in there that I thought was kind of fun a little mystery element so I'm very happy to see that it is here they seem like they have weathered the storm even though they're located in Florida so I'm very happy to see that and you guys I'm very happy to tell you that authentic books was named the best book box by the Nobot Nook so the Nobot Nook is the Facebook group that we have for the Nobots which is viewers of this channel you're always welcome to join as long as you answer all the questions to get in there. I'll leave a link for you in the description box below. But we did our own little awards just so that we could express our gratitude and admiration and appreciation for some of the boxes that I open here on the channel. And you guys, you always ask me what my favorite book box is, but instead I decided to ask that back to you and you told us that it is authentic books. We have also kind of talked about doing a book club within the Nobot Nook, but probably not until the new year. But since authentic books was the winner of the Nobody Award for best book box, we would probably be looking at one of their selections. So if you're interested in a book club and getting in on that or having a say in what book we decide to start with next year, please do let me know. But she has various uh, sizes for the monthly book boxes. So I thought it might be good because then we could all get the same book, but depending on our budgets, we could get the uh, mini or up to the premium boxes. So inside, we just have the familiar purple tissue paper, a little bit of a different uh, box than usual in the monthly ones, but we do have our familiar little guide that she puts together. So the book, and she did tell us what the book was for this anniversary box. And this anniversary box, you guys, I believe was $80 plus shipping. The shipping is $9.99. So I thought that was pretty good. If you are ever interested, by the way, in subscribing, you can use the code Noel 10 That'll save you 10%. Don't worry, I'll put all that information as well as the actual subscription prices for you in the description box below. So the book is The Fortunes of Jaded Women. Now this is what it is like for the monthly boxes. She shows you what is in the mini, what is in the full, along with the items in the mini, and then what's in the premium. So even with the limited edition boxes, you have that option to, to scale up or down size-wise. We have a book playlist with a Spotify QR code. We have a lovely editor's note from Natisha. There she is. It says, I want to thank you all for another wonderful, chaotic, and beautiful year being able to curate these boxes for you. We have our fall edition box shipping soon and some winter goodies being prepped for you, uh, which will be announced as soon as well. So there'll probably be a winter box. There'll probably be a holiday box. There might be an advent box. She does so much in addition to the three boxes at three different sizes that she does every single month. There's always like a maker feature, which I think is cool. And then as always, there is a book cocktail recipe and a story eats recipe. So our drink recipe this time is a backyard hurricane. <laughs> That's kind of ironic. And then our food recipe is a Che Thai recipe. Hmm, I don't know what that is. It sounds like it's another drink. So it's like got jackfruit, lychee, longan, ayu jelly, toddy palm seeds. Oh, so it's like a it's like a jelly drink like it's like a boba on steroids <laughs> it's got all kinds of stuff plus uh coconut uh you need the juice and the meat and then of course some coconut milk wow then there's red rubies where you add whole water chestnut red food coloring tapioca starch water and ice wow that sounds like that's a lot to do for this drink, although it does look very like festive. So I'm enticed. And of course, 5% of your membership will be donated to the Adopt a Classroom Foundation, supporting children's education and their educators. I love that. I'm going to go back to the page, of course, that's got all of the info for us. And of course, we have our Authentic Books bookmark that is fashioned to match the book, which is so lovely. And our quote this time is, the unspoken language between sisters never needed to be translated, even if they were always on the brink of war. <laughs> wow. All right. So another thing that is always in the boxes is, of course, our It's About to Get Literary candle from Authentic Books. They make their candles in-house. Um, so this is in the every size, so the mini, the full, and and the premium then these are all supposed to be all the gifts that come along are supposed to speak to different senses obviously the book is for the sense of sight and of course the candle is for the sense of smell this one is beautiful it's called 
Call Your Mother. It's got citron and mandarin. You guys know me. I love fruity and citrusy scents especially, so I'm excited about this one. Call Your Mother has notes of sweet citron and tart mandarin. Our candles are always hand-stirred and poured in the Authentic Books studio using non-toxic ingredients. It just looks kind of cheery too, right? We have a couple little stones on top for decoration. Ooh, oh my gosh, that smells so good. It smells like there's definitely some sweetness to it, but that orangey mandarin, mm, that is... That is good. That is a keeper. One of these days, you guys, I'm going to get through all of my book boxes and I'll get to enjoy these authentic book boxes as they're meant to be enjoyed. That's part of the reason I want to do a book club with some of you guys. I think it would be really fun to actually make the drinks, actually make the recipes, have some live streams where we talk about it, where we all light our candles at the same time. I think it'd be really fun. All right, so let me go ahead and pull some items out of here. So, uh, so there's always in the full box, you get a sense of taste is addressed by either a cocktail mixer or a tea. Sometimes in the monthly boxes, there's a coffee option. So the cocktail mixer was um, from Backyard Soda Company. I got the matcha iced tea latte, which I do think I actually might have chosen that. I usually, you guys, I almost always go with the cocktail mix. And so this is a box that, again, I actually paid for. So I'm sort of surprised that I went with the matcha latte. I don't feel like I would, but this is from Copper Cow Coffee, which I do love their stuff. So this one is fun because it's also got the like condensed milk. So it really creates this beautiful matcha latte, which I just think will be really pretty for pictures too. I'm not usually like a huge matcha fan. So that's why the pomegranate orange blossom cocktail syrup, that sounds really good. I'm gonna have to double check and see what I selected because I'm okay with this, but Again, I do think I would have normally chosen the cocktail syrup to make my to make my hurricane. Hmm, that's interesting. I know one of these days, like I, there was definitely a box where I switched it up and went for the tea. This could have been it, but I just the I think the pomegranate orange blossom cocktail syrup just sounds so good. It seems very unlike me. All right, what is this though? This is from A Pleasant Thought. It's rye, sweet orange, and lemon. Ooh, it's a shower steamer, you guys. Now, when it comes to the Bath and Body stuff for the sense of touch, a lot of the times I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to pass this one on because I'm not a bath girl, but we got a shower steamer. The company is from Canada. Very excited. This is touch number two, which would be just in the full and premium boxes. I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. It's probably just shrink wrapped in here. So it says rise with the energizing mists of effervescent citrus with our sweet orange and lemon infused shower steamer. Our shower steamers are handcrafted using 100% natural essential oils and ingredients for clean aromatherapy and a pleasurable showering experience. That's so nice. I'm excited. I love me a shower steamer and shower steamers are something I am very good about actually going through. All right. And then our other touch number three. So with every level up, you get an extra touch item. So the mini boxes get one, the full boxes get two and the premium get three. We got a Revele Jade facial roller. So these were very popular in subscription boxes a couple years back. I would get rose quartz and jade rollers. I felt like in every other box, um, but people really love them. It's just to like kind of stimulate the muscles in your face. It's really nice in the summer months because you can even put them in the refrigerator. I honestly, don't use them a ton but this one is really nice it would be a great stocking stuffer as well if you did want to re-gift it it's supposed to reduce puffiness which I could definitely use so it says uh, this is from it says Donamax but it's from Revele so it says the Revele Jade Facial Roller is a gentle massager which helps to depuff the face and under eye air while revitalizing skin's elasticity. It's best to use the larger end of your roller for your cheeks, neck, and forehead and switch to the small end for your nose or under eye area. So there's two sides you can see. So that's kind of a cool item. A little bit of a, like, almost like a throwback to me. <laughs> um, and then we also got... In the premium boxes, you get the addition of another second taste item, which is always chocolate, and we got our Compartes chocolate. Now, we've actually gotten this one before. This is California Love. Very excited. It's dark chocolate salted pretzel bar. California Love by Compartes Chocolate, Los Angeles. Gourmet handmade dark chocolate bar made with gourmet dark chocolate and tons of crushed San Francisco sourdough pretzels. This combo is the ultimate meeting of dark chocolate, sea salt, and crunch. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm so into that. Um, and so our, the only thing that we're missing now is our 
our um, first touch that was in all of the boxes and we got a nice face mask from face story that just looks refreshing doesn't it uh, just the package it says our soothe me tea tree two-step mask is infused with ingredients to help purify and restore troubled skin perfect for helping treat blemishes and acne indulge in this calming sheet mask and let your stress fade away but look at how well she's like done the like color palette for this box you guys I just think it all like really goes together and then of course it goes uh, plays off of the cover of the book itself maybe that's why I chose the matcha tea if I chose the matcha tea even the jade roller matches right but of course it makes tons of sense because it's jaded women that we're talking about so here is our hardcover book don't worry there was an extra surprise in there that I will uh, address in just a moment I'm just making sure that we got everything out of there and then inside yes we do have a signed book plate I always love that detail and of course we got an author's note which I love that detail as well but let me show you the gorgeous book which of course has this nice book jacket and again it goes really well with everything else that is in the box I I love a visually stimulating box as well so let's go ahead and read the blurb see why I chose to get this uh, why I chose to get this box and uh, it does you know when these books come out they're usually like highly anticipated new released books these aren't like books that have been out for years and years so there's very little chance of you having a repeat um, so this has a value of $27 if you just bought it at a bookshop which is great but like when you consider that you're getting all these extras in this box and it's like curated to go along with the book I think it's so special so it says everyone in Orange County's Little Saigon knew that the Durong sisters were cursed. I have no idea if I am saying those names correctly. I'm very terrible with uh, Vietnamese names. It says it started with their ancestor Wan who dared to leave her marriage for true love. So a fearsome Vietnamese witch cursed Wan and her descendants so they would never know love or happiness and the Duong women would give birth to daughters, never sons. Wan's current descendant, Mai Nguyen, knows this curse well. She's divorced and after an explosive disagreement a decade ago, she's estranged from her younger sisters, Min Pham, the middle and mediator, and Ku Yen Lam, the youngest, who swears she just runs humble coffee shops and nail salons, not Little Saigon's underground. Though Mai's three adult daughters, Priscilla, Tui, and Tao, have found success in their careers, one of them is John Cho's dermatologist. The same can't be said for their love lives. Mai is convinced they might drive her to an early grave. Desperate for guidance, she consults Auntie Hua, her trusted psychic in Hawaii, who delivers an unexpected prediction. This year, her family will witness a marriage, a funeral, and the birth of a son. This prophecy will reunite estranged mothers, daughters, aunts, and cousins for better or for worse. A multi-narrative novel brimming with levity and candor, The Fortunes of Jaded Women is about mourning, meddling, celebrating, and healing together as a family. It shows how Vietnamese women emerge victorious, even if the world is against them. So. I like that there's a little like old school you know there's someone who's cursed and, and how that translates into contemporary modern day here is our author in the back so uh, again I'm gonna have to look up the pronunciations of all those Vietnamese names so that I'm like saying it correctly in my head I kind of think this is nice it's not like too long of a book so I might actually get around to it uh, but let's go ahead and read the author's note too so it says dear authentic reader I am grateful and thrilled that you have chosen the fortunes of jaded women for your September read it's a massive cast of Vietnamese Vietnamese mothers, daughters, sisters, cousins, and many meddling aunties. May you laugh and cry alongside these women and celebrate their journey in finding their way back to each other. But most of all, I hope you heal with them as well. This is now your reminder to call the mother figure in your life and tell them how much you love them. I can't wait to hear your reactions and thoughts when you reach the final scene. Happy reading and be well. Ooh, I'm gonna have to call my mommy. So I love that though. I always keep all of these author's notes just tucked inside. And then we have our little extra gift that was included. So there were a bunch of different options. Um, and it's like a tarot card necklace. And there were, I think like six or seven different options. Uh, so it's by Molly and Izzy. And this is what I got. Mine is, so it says the world and it's got a palm with the, the eye in the center. Let me go ahead and pull this out. I, ha I wish I had kept the list. I probably have it in my email somewhere to tell me a little bit more about what that means. But I just thought that was kind of pretty. Now I'm not like one who like, 
plays with tarot decks or like even does much with astrology but I just thought it was kind of cool and very appropriate for the season right because you can have that witchy mystical magical vibe going on I'm so sh sorry that that's not like showing up for you guys it's just so reflective and shiny but there is a little deck on there maybe I can get that to show I'm so sorry it's just gonna flash you but that is the uh, featured maker in here it says Molly and Izzy has grown over the last six years to become a brand well known for high quality design led wish bracelets jewelry and gifts from our studio in the Cumbrian countryside to our team of wish makers and laser engravers handmade or finished all, nearly all of our products. So when possible, we use locally sourced materials and support other small businesses. Combining modern styling with quirky and sentimental messages, our creative team are constantly adding new products to ensure that our ranges stay current and in demand. So it's very, very detailed. It's not like really engraved. Well, it is engraved. It is engraved. So, but it is in black. So you can see the palm and there is an eye in the center of it and the bottom, it says the world. So I'll have to like look up what that means. I think it, I remember from the uh, email, I think the email says what it means, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to see if I have my phone handy where I can talk to you about it. I would love, like I said, to do this box the way it is meant to be done. I can't really listen to playlists when I'm reading though, in all honesty, because that like throws me off, but let's see if I can find it. Um, I think it was in here somewhere. There it is. So there it is. Um, and yes, there were several of them. I'm seeing if you, maybe you guys can see that better. There, you can totally see that better, right? You can see the different variations. So there was heart, strength, fortune, the star, the moon, and wisdom. I don't know. I got the world. I don't know which that one is. I got the one that's not on there. So that didn't help me at all. So I guess there were actually seven options because I got one that wasn't on that list. But I was kind of, I don't know. I don't know, but they all sound really positive. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy seeing all these book boxes. Like I said, I'm trying to get through all of the backlog that I have, and so you won't see as many book boxes, but they're always gonna be part of the channel, and I just think they're such a great way to get yourself back into reading, which is something that had really escaped my life for quite a while after doing so many years of school, and these boxes where they incorporate gifts and self-care into the act of reading have really helped me get back into it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do get a thumbs up. If you've read this book, let me know. Check out the Nobot Nook if you want to be part of future uh, things that we do like awards or book clubs. And I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.